Dear friends, with this episode, you thus know that the winner of this three-pronged shootout is the very well acclaimed MoFi Studio Photo as the Vincent 48 takes second place. I must say that when I received this Vincent's unit, I was pleasantly surprised at how heavy the package was, though I did know beforehand of the specifications of the 48. Vincent's products are made in China and are probably batch engineered, made by the same company that makes Shengya and Cavent products. Vincent's trump card over the Morphi is in terms of base depth. It does reach lower than the Morphi. However, in the face of a thumping baseline, the Vincent falters on separation as its vocals become blurred and merged carelessly into the sound stage. It make it harder cause you just dream. It make it harder cause you just dream. The MoFi does better to allow the vocals to float vividly, distinct and clear with its own harmonics. Vincent can't match the MoFi's ability to delineate and to resolve the violins, harmonics and details. The Vincent's deeper, the MoFi clearer vocals and separation. It just existed in your head High frequencies. The Vincent's high frequency performance is no match for the MoFi. Complete loss to the MoFi. With the MoFi, one, there is better transient readiness as you can hear the crisp tapping of the stick on metal. Two, there is better dynamics and micro dynamics as you can hear the clearer, more colorful shadings of the cymbal resonance. Range tonality and harmonics retrieval are largely the same from both phono stages, but the MoFi does show better low level signal retrieval as the fade and reverb are more convincing. <laughs> So llorando, llorando. So llorando, llorando. Leading edge transitions are also better resolved and translated by the MoFi. De tu adiós, 
de tu adiós que al verte que al verte the following is the same strip of music which I had used in the previous episode whereby the Vincent beats the domino in terms of the reproduction of air and space but as you can hear now the mofi is even better Guitar. The Mofi leads the Vincents here slightly as it offers better leading edge transients. You can discern with the Mofi more sting and colours coming off from the start of the plucks. However, the ensuing resonance of the strings and guitar body are about the same from both phonal stages. <laughs> Jazz. Here again, Coltrane's playing shows up similar traits as shown by Duke's guitar play. The Vincent's trailing the Mofi in terms of reed transients, but the ensuing resonance of the saxophone body have identical degrees of harmonic resolution. The Vincent can't match up to the Mofi's resolution of 1, transients, and 2, spatial cues, the fade and reverb. Listen to the triangles. They show up the Mofi's better transients readiness and high frequency detailing. The amounts of harmonics retrieval from strings and wind instruments are highly similar between the two. The only difference between these two models pertains to the clarity of the transient strikes of triangles. following strip very well tie up all the findings. 1. The Vincent goes deeper in bass, the drums elicits that. 2. The Mofi does better in high frequency extension and resolution. 3. The Mofi does better in resolving and revealing the transients as the percussion instruments leading edge are crisper and clearer. 4. The amounts of harmonic resolution in the mid-range are thereabouts equal between the two.
conclusion, friends, we see the Vincent's a toolbox design with a heavy separate power supply units losing out to the smaller size and relatively lightweight MoFi Studio Phono. Thus, and on a broader note, we should never ever judge a product by its looks, its seemingly good builds, and all that's heavy aluminium. Clever design, intelligent circuitry, and wise use of materials and parts matter much more. Next episode, we shall have the MoFi Studio Phono step up. The winner of this 3 prong $300 Phono Stage shootouts and received a huge beating by Mike Moffat's shit money.